Well, hello and welcome. You're watching NDTV Profit. I'm Harsh Saita and we have with us the management of AGS Transact Technologies. We have uh, Ravi Goyal, who's the chairman and managing director at AGS. Uh, the update is that they've renewed their agreement with a large private sector bank. Uh, and what they're suggesting is that incrementally it will add 30 crore of revenue because they have gone uh, and they've changed the terms of the agreement uh, with uh, the private bank. So let's try and dive a little deeper, try and understand what impact this will have on the overall business because it might change for pretty much all their agreements. Uh, Mr. Goyal, uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, so yeah. just give us some insight, give us some understanding. What exactly has changed uh, as part of the terms of the agreement? So thank you, Harsh. Uh, so, uh, we, we, as, as you know, we are there in the ATM outsourcing business and we have contracts with the majority of the banks, uh, private sector and public sector in India. Uh, we have uh, been a pioneer in bringing this uh, concept of outsourcing in India. These uh, contracts are uh, normally from three to five years and uh, every time when, when the, when the uh, contracts uh, gets over, it is, it is, it is um, renewed and renegotiated. So this is a part of that. And so uh, this time we have um, not only gone for only transaction model. I mean, as you know, the outsourcing contracts, some are on fixed model, some are on um, uh, transaction model. Um, this particular contract, what we have um, uh, re renewed is on um, uh, fixed plus transaction model instead of only transaction model. And we see a uh, lot of contracts getting uh, renegotiated, renewed on in the in the similar lines. Got it, sir. And so my understanding is you have 10 to 12 odd clients uh, in this space. Uh, right. And therefore, likely that most of those 10 to 12, as those contracts come up for renegotiation, will move to the transaction-based model. No, so as I said that a lot of banks are on a fixed model, some banks are on a transaction model. So we have basically converting the transaction based model into a fixed plus transaction based model. And uh, we see this trend uh, continue uh, in the future also. Okay, let me try and keep it more direct. 30 crore of revenue added in, in due to this change. Uh, first off, I want to understand 30 crore right off the bat in this year itself. Yes. yes. Okay. It's, it's, yeah. And what's the potential like there for? So, say out of the 10 to 12 clients you have, uh, maybe three or four, you expect uh, such renegotiations to start to happen over the next maybe two to three years. How should one look at it? Yeah, over, over, over next two to three years, definitely. Uh, even even in this year, we are we are discussing with few more banks, um, and and we'll we'll keep you keep you informed on that. But definitely. In the next two to three years, we see uh, more contracts getting renewed. Understood. And uh, the cost structure for you remains the same. So that does not change. This should incrementally do you better on margins. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's right. So this should typically trickle through to margin as well as bottom line. Completely, the, bottom line. the 30 Abs crore. Ab absolutely. Absolutely. Understood. And therefore, where should this take margins with the maybe two to three new clients also expected to get onboarded this year? Right. So, so uh, uh, the, the cost structure remains the same. So this incremental will definitely go to the bottom line hmm. and uh, should kick in at least uh, uh, one and a half to two percent better margin. Understood. Got it. Uh, and with regard to just top line growth, otherwise outside of some of these. So your top line for your context is around 1500 crore for FY24. 30 crore added to the top line, maybe two, three more clients, maybe 100 odd crore coming from, you know, this kind of uh, a structure change in terms of agreements. Uh, so a likely 6% incremental revenue, maybe FY26. But just to try and break this down a little bit better, uh, what's the kind of growth trajectory you're looking to clock? Because you've signed new agreements with an SBI as well with regard to new ATM setup. You continue to do good growth on some of those uh, areas as well. So talk to us about that. So uh, as, as we mentioned last time that we have got two contracts from SBI. Hmm. One is 
is on the uh, 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 on a capex model of around 75 crore and second is on a outsourcing model for 7 years here we are going to deploy around 2550 machines which would give us a revenue roughly of around 1100 crore of over 7 7 years so this should be on a, on a on a full year basis it should give you a, give us a revenue of around 150 crore uh, this year the rollout would start uh, uh, from uh, uh, h2 and we should be able to complete it in this financial year itself the capex order uh, would definitely get completed before uh, september so 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 we see that uh, this itself should give us more than around 150 crore of uh, incremental revenue Understood. Uh, so, last five years, FY20 to FY24, uh, in your own disclosure at the end of FY24, uh, and I'm referring to that, top line hasn't expanded. In fact, it's contracted a little bit. Uh, talk to us about and give us, give our viewers some context. What has happened and what changes going forward just in terms of growth? Right. So, so as 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 mentioned in the uh, in investors uh, call also, uh, what we have done over the last two years is that we were there in in a uh, lot of product businesses like like uh, uh, retail hardware for billing. We were there for uh, in color dispensing machines. We were there in the oil marketing, retail outlet automations. So there were a lot of product businesses, and our service revenues used to be around. 85% of our total revenue. Over the last two years, we have uh, been um, uh, cutting down on our uh, product businesses. So our revenue of uh, services has gone from 85 to 95%. And what we have seen is also this um, brings a lot of focus on our services and um, uh, also reduces the uh, uh, working capital. Understood. Uh, and therefore, just in terms of growth, what's the kind of uh, top line growth that one can expect coming from you over the next two to three years? So, as I said that this SBA order itself should give us around 150 to uh, crore uh, revenue uh, minimum uh, on, a, on a yearly basis. We are working on some other contracts also. Uh, there is a lot of, lot of focus also on the digital side uh, where, where we are uh, issue, we have started issuing the uh, cards on our PPI license and uh, there also we see a lot of uh, growth coming in the revenues uh, in, in, in next few years. Understood. Uh, and so with regard to, you know, cash profit as well, uh, it's been quite muted just in terms of your cash profits largely because of margins. Now that margins will likely recover this year, uh, you know, two percentage points is what likely you, you are suggesting or indicating. Uh, would would uh, PAT margin also improve and will it get better? Yes, def definitely it will, it will, it will get, a, getting, get better over a period of time, yes. Understood. And where do you see that going, therefore? So, this... 150 odd crore order should add maybe another 10 percent to top line uh, and thereafter uh, you have another 30 crores coming from the current restructured agreement uh, and of course all of that adding to margins so where should this overall look i mean how should one look at numbers overall no, as i said that for future we are we are we are, we are working on few more contracts hmm. and obviously uh, once those contracts gets materialized it would be uh, uh, added to the uh, future uh, revenues and the bottom line. Understood. And with regard to net debt, uh, it's been coming off uh, from some of those highs. Uh, but where should, uh, do, you, do you believe that this is the level at which you'd like to be at when net debt is concerned? Uh, so, uh, again, Harsh, uh, and, uh, we had mentioned it in the our uh, analyst call yes. uh, that we have reduced our debt by around 100 crore last year. And what we uh, uh, expect is in the next four years' time, we should be debt-free. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what, are the, what are the newer growth levers that you're looking for? Because, uh, of course, you have SBI. Of course, you, you may be pitching certain ATM-related uh, uh, services to other customers as well. 
but they are not converting significantly likely at least as of now so what are the new growth levers you are looking for in terms of digital in terms of and how will that start adding up uh, for you in terms of business right uh, so harsh uh, uh, i mean as you know we are in the payment space i mean cash we are doing it in atm outsourcing we are also um, doing a cash management uh, through our uh, 100% uh, wholly owned subsidiary secure value so this uh, in cash we have a substantially a good market share on digital front we have been uh, working on um, uh, 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 our issuance of on go cards uh, through our ppi license and we have got three major uh, lines of um, uh, businesses in that one is we are doing it on a, a co branded platform so we have already uh, signed a deal with patanjali for issuing of uh, uh, their uh, uh, closed loop cards to our on go platform and that should be around 25 lakh cards uh, they they have already issued there is a they have a, a gtv of around 1500 crore every year so we expect those cards to be converted to our open loop cards and bring it on our platform uh, we are also working on similar kind of tie ups with other corporates Second, uh, we have tied up through uh, RBL Bank uh, for issuance of uh, Bangalore Metro um, NCMC card. This uh, has already started. We have already issued around 50,000 cards and uh, we expect this to grow um, in, in the next few years. They already have around 35 lakh cards as a closed loop cards and we expect that in next few years, those all cards would be uh, migrated on this our new platform. Hmm. Uh, third, uh, which is very interesting, is we are also launching. Um, uh, uh, we have already doing a pilot with HPCL for on-go fuel, and this very soon we should be able to launch uh, uh, nationally, and this should give a very very good growth to our digital business. Understood. So my last question is on cash balances. You're generating roughly 250 to 300 crore of cash every year. What are you doing with it? Uh, so this is basically for the, um, obviously the uh, payments of, uh, uh, we are reducing the debt uh, every year. Sure. And uh, uh, this is also used for our growth for outsourcing and uh, digital platform. Understood. Uh, Mr. Goyal, it's been a pleasure interacting with you, breaking this down. Uh, congratulations on this uh, new hybrid agreement that you've signed. Uh, and likely many more to go. We'll wait for some of those announcements to come. But thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you, Harsh. Thanks a lot. Right. Uh, out of time. Time to slip into a very short break. More on the other side. Stay tuned to NDTV Profit. <laughs>